With my file arranged, I've added in a color card, got rid of the default drawing layer. Now is the time to add in some basic audio. So I'm going to just go back and choose this character, put it on screen, and we're going to take a look at what happens to these characters when they start speaking and how we can go about that inside Harmony. To bring the audio in, we choose Import Sound. We select the audio file that I am looking for, and I'll want to bring in both of these, so we import in Ricky, and then I will repeat the process where I will import Sound. This time I will bring in Simone. So now we can see how they are separated with that. It's important as I look at my layers here, the naming structure. So Beardo is just called Mouth, but when I named the slug layers, I made sure to add the word slug into the naming here. So back in here, we're going to want to extend these out. Now, I know that my audio is about 14 seconds long. We're going to throw some other animation in, so I'm going to just modify my frame length and I will, or scene length, and I will set it to 500 frames, which will give me ample time for the project to take place. Now, what I also want to do is to go to my two artwork layers and I will extend them out, their exposure, function F5 to do that. So they've been extended out. Now we're back at frame one and we're ready to start syncing up our audio. So Ricky will be used for my slug character. So I will right click on the sound, choose lip sync, auto lip sync detection, wait for it to finish processing that. Then I will right click and choose lip sync, map lip sync, and this time I want to find so we will find slug mouth front and click OK. Now if I look at the slug layers, we extend out the head, we can see it's now keyframed it out. If I want to hear the audio, I have to make sure that I turn on. By default, audio is turned off on playback. I can turn it on and I can turn it on so when I scrub, it plays that sound. Now if we hit play, with the fork. I hate you. Likewise. You're a Twinkie. Yeah, I heard that one. What else is new? Yeah, so we can see that it is indeed working, so that's good as part of it. Now what I want to do is be able to also keyframe the profile view of the slug mouth. So I will click on Ricky, lip sync, map lip sync detection, and this time I will choose slug mouth profile, hit OK and if we go down into the slug mouth, we'll see we have that same breakdown of frames, so that's good. Now, let's try that with our beard character, so that's the Simone dialog. So we can right click, lip sync, auto lip sync detection, processes it out. Right click again, lip sync, map our lip sync. This time we will choose mouth front, and we can see now the mouth has changed. I, I, I hate you. Okay, that seems to be working pretty good. So let's try again. Lip sync, map lip sync, and this time it will be mouth profile. That will be for the other mouth for Beardo. So that we can see it happening. And because this is just to verify that our lip syncing is working, that we have enough audio information, I'm going to go into Beardo here, and we have the two heads for Beardo. So there's the front one. We'll just go into the profile head right here and turn it back on so we can see it. And we'll just zoom out a little bit so we have some more room. And pull that head, try again. Face profile, there we go. And pull the head out so we'll be able to see that mouth move. Now we'll repeat that same process on the slug. 
where I will grab the slug's profile head, turn those layers on, and now collapse it so I can just click on the peg for the slug right there. And we'll pull that head out. So now, if we watch this, we should see all mouths are animating. With the fork. I hate you. Likewise. You're a Twinkie. Yeah, I heard that one. What else is new? You mind? How come you didn't come out the other night? What night? What are you talking about? Don't play dumb. You know what night. So we still have a few little mouth blips on there that we will manually have to be cleaning up. So let's go find the end here. So right after Don't Play Dumb. You know what night. Seems right here. I got that one frame. Um, you know what night. So this one frame here for the slug's mouth, we're going to want to switch. So if I go onto that mouth layer, and we want to put it back to either the closed consonant, you know what night. So probably closed consonant or our X mouth, but I think we'll just do closed consonant. So it, it closes, no, because that's going to, we already have the closed consonant, unless we do this whole chunk as that. So we probably just go up to the X mouth there, so it doesn't give that little extra stutter to it. And I can repeat the same thing on the profile mouth as well. Click right here, and just bring it to the closed mouth. So now, if I rewind, hey, dumb, you know what night. It just stays. So that's how we're able to get two characters working. We have the two heads, and then we can just control which head we're looking at, which point in time, by deleting frames from the exposure so we see one head or the other head. So we'll demonstrate uh, with, let's start out with Beardo here. And we have the two uh, heads as we're looking at them. So if we go back to the beginning in time, so we can see the character is here. I'm going to just turn off audio. We don't really need to hear that right now. But I don't want to be seeing the side view right now. I just want uh, the front view. So if we go under Beardo's head profile right here, then it, we can just select there, delete, it goes away. But now we can see it shows up. So in the frame that it shows up, right here, that's where I will go to the front, and I can get rid of whatever frames I don't want it to be visible right there. Delete. So we can very easily go front, profile. Now we're back to the front. But we have to go and delete some of those extra frames. So it's going to just be a matter of going back and forth and deleting. but. You can see how his head is here, and now it turns. He's talking with a profile mouth. And that's the process that we're going to be continuing as we work our way forward.